Embarrass you in public, what does it mean to you? Nothing. You don't care what nobody thinks. Let somebody think you're, you know, try to shame you in public. First of all, first of all, the words, the vocabulary, the way you're going to shut them down is going to be something that no one's ever seen. It's going to be something out of the out of the movies. It's going to be like, what, what is this over there with this person? Where did it come from? So you getting embarrassed in public is almost impossible because you, 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 you don't care what nobody thinks. So when someone says something to try to shame you, you don't get in that normal, I feel the heat from everybody around me. You know, you get you get excited. You'll be like, I'm about to show up and show out. You're going to wish you never opened your mouth to me. You let the smooth taste fool you. Now I'm going to give you this business with these words, though. With these words. Now, if you want to take it beyond that. You know, if you're a fella, if you're a lady, it's going to be worse. But if you're a fella, you want to take it beyond that, and you can get these hands, too. But you ain't going to want to do that. That's a, when you're a Sigma, they don't want that. They don't want that kind of pressure, man. They don't want it. They don't want it. So let's move on to the next one. We're writing it up. You know what I'm saying? Ah, from the moment the narc uh, lies and first Sigma calls out. At that moment, they start eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already said that. Yeah, from that moment. Hey, from the moment that narc... <coughs> They don't even know you really like that. Lies in front of people. And it's like a round circle kind of situation. And it comes to your turn and you be like, wow, nah, that's really not the way that's supposed to be interpreted. And I don't know where you got that from. And, you know, uh, facts are blah, 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 blah. That narc's going to be like, blah, 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 blah. you know what I mean? What do you mean? I'm going to be like, well, I'm meaning these facts right here. Straight faced it. And they're going to be like, Whoa. gaslighting, gaslighting look around to the crowd, try to use the crowd to triangulate, and you're going to sit there strong, firm. I just said these facts. I said, I see what you just tried to do, but I don't hear no argument with facts. So until I hear that, I'm not going to give in to your shaming languages. Straight faced it, just like I'm doing right now. You know what that does to people? It puts them in a ah, squeezing their butt cheeks together position. What normally happens with a narc they get in their ego and they start saying real stupid stuff because they don't know how to handle that pressure. And then you got them. Got them, coach. Ha. Then they're going to be mad enough to uh, do something real stupid, say something real stupid, and you get them that way. Or, or if they're real dumb, try to throw some hands and then you're going to show them, well, I think you need to know that I'm a veteran and I think you need to know I'm highly trained. I think you need to know that you done messed up. You know what I'm saying? So they get the hands. Or they get the verbal hands. Either way it goes, they're getting these hands. And they never forget it. They hate you for life. They are never going to let it down. They remember in their dreams, man. Cold and hot sweats at the same damn time. You know what I mean? The, the, the narc's life is built. This goes on to the next point. The narc's life is built around manipulation. The manipulation is built around their lies. Their ability to lie. Their ability to lie in front of people and to use their... Narc charm, if you want to call it that. You know, listen. I'm just gonna tell the truth about it. Most people, not you guys, but most people are sheep. You know what I'm saying? You know they follow anything. If if somebody get out there with the guts enough to say a few words, even if it makes no sense, people just follow it. We have the job to keep that in check. Okay, so you look kind of good, and you're running your mouth. You're saying a bunch of babble, clown. I'm tired of hearing it. Up here just babbling on with a bunch of circle talking points. I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing this stuff, man. Like, I want to hear some real meat and potatoes stuff. I'm tired of the circle talk. I'm tired of the babbling. I'm tired of the I'm tired of the talking points. Somebody like jotting stuff down that they heard on CNN or M. Stop it. We don't want to hear none of that stuff. We are wanting the meat and the potatoes, man. And see, the narc lives their life off of that kind of 
jargon. That's how they live their life. And you see right through it. And the minute they start talking to you, whether you know them or not in front of a group of people, you have no shame in putting them out there. You are ruthlessly, sh not shaming them, you're ruthlessly being honest to them and the crowd. You're making them look at their self in real time. Whew, that's deep. You're making them look at themselves in real time and evaluate themselves. Like, that's why no one, everybody feels comfortable going at me from the internet, the X or whatever. No one, no one calls me up. No one's going to show up where I'm at running their mouth. Are you see in my, in front of my face, dealing with these words, we're not going to do that. They're going to feel safe on the other end of some goofy troll account and try to say some and, and make sure that I don't know who it is because they're never going to have the guts enough to let me know it's them because they know I'm going to come at them directly and I'll make a video about it. And the video might end up going viral or something. And they, you know what I mean? I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous. See, that's part of my motivation for building up, you know what I'm saying, uh, my channel. I need to be a force. Like, like I was whenever I was an engineer making a, I need to be a force. I need to have everything together. I need, if you come, you come at me, you know that whatever you do will be seen by hundreds and thousands of people. I'm going to put you out there in front of everybody. See, that's power. That's power. I don't have to sit here and talk about it all the time or whatever, but that's power. That's what the narc sees. I don't get no random block calls no more. I don't get no emails. I don't get no threats. I don't get nothing. I've, I've made it very clear, but doing it in a subtle way. You don't want none of this. <laughs> you don't want none of this. And that's just from what I'm letting them see. And they know it. If I'm letting you see this, imagine what I'm not letting you see. If I wanted you to see everything I did, I'd have stayed at my dad's or whatever and stacked my money up so you could pop up anytime you wanted to. Now, I moved in silence, moved away. No one, nobody knows my address. I don't even know it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I don't even know it. I'm, I don't have it memorized. No one deserves to know, not even myself. Huh. Shoot. No one's going to know this. I have to start typing a navigation. Like, what's that address again? God, you know what I'm saying? I gotta write it down. I don't wanna, I don't know. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. No one's gonna ever know where I live at until I'm so doggone rich that everybody knows where I live at, or at least one of my homes. Let's move on to the next. All right, let me.